Hey everyone, my name is Bogdan and welcome to Acura Addicted channel helping you to navigate in the world of automotive repairs, maintenance and reviews. In this episode, I'm going to be installing LED footwell lights on my 2008 Acura MDX. I have two sets of LEDs as I want to have one looped with the door courtesy lights so they turn on when the door is open, and another set to be turned on at any time using a remote. They are powered by 12 volts through either connecting to a 12 volt outlet or direct splicing, so this can be done in basically any other car out there. Let's roll! Here's a list of tools you need to complete this job. LED footwell lights. Plastic trim tool for interior. Electrical tape. Isopropyl alcohol for prepping the surface for the LEDs. Paper towels. A decent work light. Some 16 AWG wires for extending the wiring. Possibly some additional double-sided tape. As always, links to everything I used are in the description. I'll start by removing the center console side panel on the passenger side. Now I'll remove the passenger footwell plastic panel where the light is located. That's what I'm gonna splice into for powering the rear footwell lights I'm installing. This way they turn on any time I open the doors or turn the interior lights using a switch. So basically they will be synced to the interior lights. As you can see, I have a splitter installed here for a previous set of my LED door sill plates. I'll remove it and we'll be wiring everything up from scratch, so it's a better example for you, because you don't have that splitter installed. Here's the AWG16 wires I have for connecting. I'll quickly twist them and make a proper wire. Now let's see where the ground and positive are in the bulb connection. You don't have to do it, as you can simply swap the wires if it doesn't work when you connect it. Ok, got it. Now let's connect the wires and somewhat isolate them. Of course, it's a good idea to test it first. I left it out of the video in this case. I'll put the panels back together. Ok, 
Here's the first set of lights. I'll plug it into a regular 12 volt outlet. Since I hate loose wires in the cabin, I keep a two plug outlet in the center console. You can control the brightness, colors and modes using this wired remote. But you can also fine tune it by a Bluetooth using a remote app in your smartphone. It's very convenient and you can basically choose any color or even create your own mode patterns. This is the other set I'll be connecting to the footwell lights loop. I'll just connect the wires to the plug. This way there is additional fuse in the plug itself for extra safety. As you can see, it lights up and shuts off with the interior light. Now let's install the lights themselves. I gotta say, it's a tricky thing to do, primarily because there's no easy access for you to handle it under the seat. There's also no plastic panels underneath for you to attach the lights to, but I played around with the rear seat trim and stuck the lights under it. I also tucked the wires under the floor panels and into the OEM harness cover behind this cloth with Velcro. Let's make sure the wires are not caught up or stretched when the seat is moving in both directions. I left out the driver's side installation as it's identical to the passenger side, just mirrored. It's a bit annoying that every time the lights are powered up, they go through a quick color cycle. But I can live with it as it is very short. By the time you open the door, they already went through the cycle, so that's fine. Here's how they look with the LED door sill plates. And yes, you can set up the same color. I'll attach the remote from the set to the center console as I want to be able to turn it off and on. Great! And I'll put everything back together.
Here's a rear passenger perspective. Just the interior lights. And now another set that I can turn off and on using the remote. And that's it. The football lights look great. It certainly feels they've been missing all alone. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave your comments below and hit that subscribe and bell buttons for more videos on this channel. And as always, drive safe, use your turn signals and remember, anything is possible with the right tools and motivation. See you next time! But I do